Oh, Shelly. Taking a look at this time lapse that we saw this morning. We had some clouds over Pikes Peak and you can see the stars actually moving. Um, but we did have some cloud cover, but that has since cleared out for the day. As we look at satellite though, you can still see a little bit of some snow in uh, towards the plains and you see it fading. That's actually not it melting. Uh, that is actually the sun starting to set. So that's why you start to see it fade and the mountains saw some fresh snow as well. But that's also contributing to some colder air above the plains right now. You notice I-25 is much warmer than the plains or most of the plains. So La Junta sitting at 38 degrees right now. And for that sunset time for tonight, that's going to be 4.43 p.m. So that sunset time is getting earlier and earlier every day that we go. And for Pueblo, that should be 4.44 for you guys. So just about a minute off. And for that forecast for tonight, 24 for the springs for that low, 22 for Pueblo. We'll have some clouds in the area, but that wind should stay light coming out of the north. Five miles an hour for the springs and only three for Pueblo. Overnight lows tonight, 24 again for the springs. Closer up towards Denver, just a few degrees warmer, though Monument, since you guys are a little bit higher than us down here in the springs, 19 for you guys for that low. We could see some more teens out towards the plains, specifically looking at Lyman and some 20s for the plains. The mountains are going to be sitting in those teens mostly. They're usually colder than the rest of us. If you're sending any kiddos out to the bus stop for the morning, we'll be in those 30s, so definitely grab that jacket for them. And by the time that they're coming home, we should be in those 40s for most of us along I-25. Those plains could be just a little bit warmer. The plains could be sitting in those 50s by the time that those kiddos start to come home. And we could see some breezy conditions along with that too. So that wind might make it feel just a little colder than it actually is. Highs tomorrow, 56 for the Springs and 59 for Pueblo. Again, by the time that those kids are coming home, it won't quite be in those 50s, though 40s for the Plains and some 50s though sneaking in there. And for the mountains, we'll be in those 40s and 50s. As for what we are tracking though, we are gonna be having this low pressure system that's bringing in some rain going into sun and Sunday evening and into Monday. But this second system that we are tracking is gonna bring down some Arctic air and that will drop those temperatures for us and bring us some snow chances going into Tuesday. Nothing really dramatic with this storm system. I'll show you future cast here. We'll be seeing some more cloud cover again rain to start off going into Monday morning. That will leave by the time we get into the afternoon. We'll start to see some snow showers going into Tuesday morning for the higher terrain though some of it could make its way off onto I-25. But as you can see there's really not a whole lot uh, for us to accumulate Accumulate. We're just going to be seeing some very isolated showers. As for the next seven days, 56 for your Monday. Again, it'll be chilly, uh, but this is what your hour by hour will be looking like going into your Monday. And we'll start to even out with those temperatures eventually getting into those 60s. Pueblo, 59 for your Monday, cooling down on Tuesday. Canyon City, 58 for your Monday, eventually getting into those 60s. And Woodland Park, you're going to be the coldest out of all of us, eventually getting into those 50s.